Mattel Creations has created a hyper-realistic The Child plush with an exact replica of the Havu Pram from the show. What is up, toy collectors and fans of The Mandalorian and Rogu? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be going over the Star Wars The Mandalorian The Trial Collector's Edition plush with Havu Pram. Now, this is a super realistic plush that Mattel has came out with that is available for pre-order. But don't forget, before we start the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you will not missing any future videos. And make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed the video but now let's dive into this realistic the child plush so as you can see from the picture here the plush is basically the same sculpt as all the other ones like the premium plush and the costco exclusive and the regular mattel plush all of those have similar face sculpts to this one but this one has a little bit more detail and realism so let's take a look at this plush and yes, this is the second Mattel plush with feet. So the premium plush bundle was the first Mattel plush that actually includes feet. So body wise, this plush is more similar to the premium plush bundle, especially with those plush hands. So as you can see, the hands are all plush. I think Mattel stopped doing the vinyl hands for whatever reason. So now the plush hands are kind of taking over their plush dolls of the child or Grogu. That's completely fine with me because as long as it has the same cool face, that is all that matters. So we are going to take a closer look at the feet because right now the super robe is actually covering what those feet look like. So here is a picture of the plush walking and as you can see these are a little bit more realistic than the premium plush bundles feet and as you can see side by side the feet on this Mattel Creations plush and the feet on the premium plush are slightly different because the premium plush bundle kind of has just a jagged line however this one has a little bit more detailed as you can see when he picks up the feet on the bottom there's like even little wrinkles in there which is really cool and it still does have the same type of toenails obviously this one is way more expensive than the premium plush so it is a little bit more in depth on the realism and even the Shupa collar has really good details. It looks like it is worn, and there's even like where he drags the Shupa collar. As you can see, there's like some wailing and tailing on the sides. And the Shupa around his neck, there's some dirt on it, which is really cool. It looks like he's been walking around outside a side of the Mandalorian, which is really cool. So the plush overall is realistic. And this is another thing about the head that really amazes me. On the back of this one's head, it has real hair. So it's going to be actual white hair that the child has. Now, no plush has included this as far as what has been released in the past. So this is a really cool added bonus to this specific plush. But another thing about this plush is that it does come with accessories. So we're going to take a look at what he comes with. We're also gonna take a look at the pram and then we're gonna go over the price and as far as the availability. So as you can see, this the child's plush accessories are super cool. He only comes with two, but these have some really realistic details on them, especially his second accessory. So you may be familiar with this Mattel knob because it has been included with the plush in the past. That is the Costco exclusive Mattel plush that has been released. And I just love my Costco Mattel plush. It's really cool. And that shifter knob is one of my favorite accessories so it looks like there is not much more detail than there is on the costco it looks like it's the exact same accessory plastic and the coloring is exactly the same they didn't do anything different for the knob so they basically just took it from the costco and added it and incorporated it with this mattel plush but the other accessory has never been included with the plush before this is the squid from the chowder that the child is sipping on in season two so it's really cool and that squid has some serious details you can see all of the little lines and the face is really identical to like what squid looks like in real life and i don't know what material this is going to be made of because it looks like it's just a concept image that is a side of the plush but i have a feeling that it's going to be realistic no matter what type of material it's made of 
my personal guess would probably be some type of squishy plastic or maybe a rubber to kind of get that realistic feel of an actual squid from the chowder. And my favorite part about this accessory is that it can attach to the face so you can recreate the scene in the Mandalorian where the squid jumps out on his face. So here's an example, and I know it kind of looks a little strange, but that's exactly the scene inside of the Mandalorian. So I'm really happy that Mattel added in an unusual accessory that has never been incorporated with a plush before, and they really did a great job on designing that squid. Now the part that it amazed me most of all of this plush is that it comes with a hover pram. Now I have actually been wanting Mattel to create a hover pram for the Mattel the Child plushes for a very long time. Ever since the first plush came out and Build-A-Bear was the first to incorporate a full on plush pram that you can put the Build-A-Bear in. And then Shop Disney was next incorporating a plush with a pram. The first video about the Build-A-Bear pram is my very first week of Mando Monday videos. So I'm gonna put the link to that video in the corner. And you can also go check out the video about the Shop Disney plush with the pram in my Shop Disney plush comparison. I'll put a link to that video in the corner here as well. Now back to this Mattel plush pram. I cannot wait to see what it looks like as these start to be released. However, speaking of release dates, I'm gonna have more information about the release date after we take a look at this pram. This is probably the closest we're going to get to the pram from the show, but I have a feeling some other brands are probably gonna copy Mattel in the future and try to make a pram of their own so there can be different options, which I'm completely fine with because I would like to see if Hasbro tries to recreate that same thing. And it does come with a clear Star Wars base that is adjustable i think that's the highest it goes it can raise up really high so it can float next to you or give the illusion of floating so the child plush fits perfectly inside of it i think they got all the details perfectly right and this is just an awesome replica of the pram and another thing about this pram that is really really cool it just amazes me that this pram can actually do this but there was something released from Mattel that actually showed the pram of this plush actually opening and closing. There might be a button or something that you push on the pram and the sides of the pram come up to actually close up the pram. So here is the pram close. So when you push that button, it actually makes the two flaps fold over and then your child is inside of the pram pram if he needs to go to sleep or whatever and that is super cool as well so lots of amazing details incorporated with this and if you would like to know the price the availability if you want to pre-order one the pre-orders are only going to be available for one week because this is probably a super rare item and kind of hard to manufacture i'm guessing so they only have the pre-orders up for a week and the retail price that Mattel Creations website is offering for it is $400 for the accessories, for the super realistic plush, and for a pram that can actually close. $400, I mean, it may seem a little overpriced, but it may be worth it by the time this actually physically comes, but you're gonna have to wait a year. So next year, the release date is supposed to be, I think, February 15th. So it is available to pre-order at the time of filming this video. And I don't think it's gonna go out of stock until Mattel Creations takes the link down because it's not a thing where everyone is going to buy it because the price is a little bit expensive. So Mattel says the item is available to ship from February 15th to April 15th of 2022. So it's between April and February 15th that is guaranteed you will get your plush if you are going to pre-order one. And this plush isn't the only Mattel plush with a Havu Pram. There was also a second plush with a actual levitating hover pram. It's just the pram by itself and it doesn't include a plush as far as I know. This one is super cool because it can levitate on a certain type of platform and I don't know how many of them are made but they did an auction for those and I cannot wait to see who won it, who got it, 
and if they make a video on it then that would be awesome as well but this one is available to the public so thank you for joining me on another video this was super fun going over all the details and what i think about this plush if you would like to see more updates i have a playlist of all my merch updates on the channel so i'm gonna put a link to that playlist in the corner i have all my mando mondays videos in there i have some other videos that i've done recently in there so you can go ahead and go check all of those out in one playlist so like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys next week for another video. See you next time.